has anybody ever watched The Flash or seen a show related to The Flash or that has to do with physics? Okay. So if you have, you know there's a character on the show named Harrison Wells and he builds a particle accelerator that's similar to one on right here. And when I was watching the show, I was intrigued to find out if the physics are actually real physics and based off true facts. So I got to digging and I found out that there are such things as particle accelerators. So today I'm going to talk to you about the two different kinds of particle accelerators and, the, and how it works. So the first type of particle accelerator is the linear particle accelerator. Now on the left, is the is a view from the outside and on the right is a view is a partial view of one on the inside and a linear particle accelerator only does fixed target experiments and that means that there there is a particle that is released and the particle could be a neutron proton or an electron or a different type of heavy lead ion and they are released and they are pushed through from they are pushed by magnets magnetic fields or electric fields through the long tube, which is called the straight track, to where they hit a target, which is usually a type of metal or tin foil or something of that form. So the, the linear particle accelerator only does fixed target experiments. The second particle accelerator is called a circular particle accelerator. And as you can tell, it's a circle, unlike the linear one. And this is a view from the outside and that is the inside. And this is actually the Large Hadron Particle Accelerator, which is the largest particle accelerator in the world, and it lies 328 feet below the surface in France and Switzerland. Now, the difference between the two is that the circular particle accelerator can perform either fixed target experiments, like I previously said, where, it, where a particle is released to hit a target, or they can perform collision experiments which is where a, multiple particles are going nearly the speed of light around a circular track and they collide billions of times to burst and where Ben Dotson of the energy department says they create new particles called quarks. So that's a circular particle accelerator. Now I'm sure you're asking what is, like I'm really confused, can somebody please explain this better? So in the basic terms, a particle accelerator is a large machine that is used to perform physical experiments involving high energy subatomic particles. Aish Chivar said this in an article called Part How a Particle Accelerator Actually Works. This was published back in 2016, and he explains that there are two particle accelerators and the difference between the two, and he goes on in very depth terms of how um, magnets and Electric, electrics, electrical units are used throughout particle accelerators. So now I want you to close your eyes and imagine you are going for a walk and these rocks fall, fall right in front of you from outer space. Does everybody have that image? So you're walking and they fall and you decide, these look really weird, let me pick them up. And you find out that they are heavier than they appear. So you decide to take them home and try to break them open. You get a hammer, jackhammer, chainsaw, anything you can find in your garage and you're unable to open them. So finally you decide, let me smash them together as hard as I can and they shatter and break open. This is the idea of how a particle accelerator works. So in an article called 10 years of LHC, which is the Large Hadron Collider, Collider Discoveries, published by Todd Adams, who is a physics graduate from Florida State University. He explains that, there, that the idea of a particle accelerator is way beyond our understanding. And he explains that particle accelerators were created 100, nearly 100 years ago in the 1930s. So to review, there, we have learned that there are two different types of particle accelerators. There's a linear particle accelerator and a circular particle accelerator. And the particles that can be produced from, that are used in experiments are protons, neutrons, or electrons. And the particles that are produced are called quarks. And there are also hundreds of different particles that people are trying to experiment and learn what can be produced from colliding two different particles. Are there any questions?